after you and I have had two martinis, maybe three if we're feeling frisky, I'm the person you come to who's sitting in a corner who's ready to talk about octopuses and maybe like relativity, black holes. Hi, my name is Madeline Klein and I'm going to let Elle ask me anything. Chaotic. Definitely character and story, and also if by the end of the script, just like a good book, I'm I feel so sad when it's done. Don't fix it if it ain't broke. I've had so many uh, so far this year. You know, getting drunk uh, and having murder mystery parties with the cast of Knives Out every weekend was always a pretty huge pinch me moment. I still live vicariously through those memories. My mom. Um, craziest stunt I've done, wrestling with a fake gator in freezing temperatures. So like a, a, a really large, toy gator that was put on like a rotisserie stick and there was somebody in the water off camera like literally making it roll around. It was basically just like a roast chicken gator. Quality time and uh, probably words of affirmation. They're definitely not the same as to how I show other people love. It's a work in progress. Function. Titanic. Actually, the part that gets me the most is not, I mean, Jack dying definitely gets me going, but when she takes his last name on the boat the morning after. Martinis. Dirty, uh, with a twist, espresso, porn star, apple. Helen Mirren. It would be like Benjamin Button, which would explain like the age difference. <laughs> gimme, Gimme, Gimme by ABBA. Way better listener and better at writing too. Talking is 50-50. I love to unpack things with my friends, um, which is why I think they come to me and I just play therapist. I really want to go to Tokyo. Specifically, I really want to go for the food. I want all the sushi. I want all the tea, all the dumpling. I, I want everything. <laughs> Honestly, moisturizer. I love Barbara Sturm's moisturizer and her sun drops because they make my skin just look super dewy and shiny. Oh no! <laughs> My publicist just whispered, murder mystery. So I'm gonna go with the murder mystery. What about a murder rom mystery com? You know, there's this little indie film right now that I've literally been telling everybody about it and I will not shut up about it. Um, it's called Glass Onion, A Knives Out Mystery. It's really fun, it's a good time. knows. <laughs> it comes and goes. What's a day-by-day -day thing? I don't think there's really a secret. I think everybody has their their things that, that they know help them uh, feel confident, but you know, just be like water. <laughs> don't compare yourself. Don't, don't, don't ever, don't do it. I swear to God, don't do it. Being on the go so much, it's so exciting and so chaotic and so fun. So recharging actually just feels like being at home <laughs> and having downtime. Glass of wine. Fuzzy socks. After you and I have had two martinis, maybe three if we're feeling frisky, I'm the person you come to who's sitting in a corner who's ready to talk about octopuses and maybe like Relativity, black holes, multiverse, what is it? Theories? Obviously I don't know a lot, but I know a little bit. <laughs>
but we'll have a really colorful conversation about fun, super duper fun things. Thank you Elle for having me and for asking me anything. And don't forget to check out Outer Banks on Netflix. Mm -hmm.